Hello everyone and welcome to part 2. Let's continue from where we last left off. Place 4 blocks going down on the left side. 1, 2, 3, 4. And now you'll place 2 blocks going down on the left side. 1, 2. Go ahead and delete these placement blocks. Now let's fly up to the first 4 blocks going down, which is this one. Starting from the bottom, we'll count 2 up. So this is 1, 2. And on the right side of it, we'll place one black wool there. And now we'll place three blocks going across on the upper level to the right side. One, two, three. Delete that. And now we'll place two blocks going up, starting on top of this block here. Starting on top of the last block that we just placed. So this is one, two. So it should look exactly like this. Now, let's go back to the three blocks going across here. Now let's get to the center block, which is this. And underneath it, we'll place seven blocks going down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it should look exactly like this. Now let's go back up to the two blocks going up. And from this block, we'll place three blocks going diagonal up to the right. So that's one, two, three. Now delete the placement blocks. And now we'll place a placement block on top of this block here. So it looks like that. Switch back to the black wool. Now starting next to the right side of this block, we'll place four blocks going down. So this is one, two, three, four. Should look exactly like this. Now delete the placement block. Now from this block here, we'll place two blocks going diagonal up to the right. So one, two. Now go ahead and delete those. And now we'll put a placement block on top of that block. Switch back to the black wool. Now we'll place seven blocks going down, starting next to this placement block. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Fly back up. Delete that. And now from this block, we'll place one block going diagonal up to the right. So that's one. And now we'll put a placement block on top of that one block, and then... With the black wool, we'll place three blocks going down, starting on the right side of this block. One, two, three. Go back up, delete the placement block. And now from this block here, we'll place a linked three blocks going down on the right side. One, two, three. Okay? Now, from this block up here, we'll place 11 blocks going across to the right side. One, two. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Fly over, delete the placement block. Now, from this block here, we'll place one block going diagonal down to the right. One. Now we'll place two blocks going down on the right side. One, two. Delete the placement block. And now, from this block here, we'll place three blocks going down. One, two, three. So delete the placement block. And now we'll place four blocks going down on the right side. One, two, three, four. Delete that. And now we'll place three blocks going down on the right side. One, two, three. Delete that. And now seven blocks going down on the right side. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. 7. Fly up, delete that. And now we'll place one block diagonal down to the right. Alright, and now we'll place two blocks going down to the right. 1, 2. And now we'll place eight blocks going down to the right. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And it should connect to that black wool there. So let's fly up, delete the placement blocks. So now we're done with the black wool for now, so let's switch to the gray wool. Now with the gray wool, I want you to fly down here, down to the right side of the pixel art. And what you're going to do is put a gray wool underneath all the black wool until you get to the top corner up there. So what you're going to do is very, very simple. It's All you're going to do is this. Just put gray wool underneath all the black wool that goes up and that goes next to it. Nothing too complicating whatsoever. So it should look exactly like this. Okay. Now that you have that, 
I want you to fly down here a bit until you get to the nine blocks going down. Now, from the nine blocks going down, you'll place two gray wools underneath it, like this. Now, starting next to this black wool, what we'll do is place two blocks going diagonal up to the right. So that's one, two, and now we'll place three blocks going up on the right side. One, two, three. Delete that. And now two blocks going diagonal up to the left side. One, two. And you can delete that. And now this space here gets filled in with gray wool. All right. So now that we have that done, let's go to the left side. And we're going to do the exact same thing we did over there. We'll just place gray wool underneath and next to the black wool until we get to the upper corner over there. So let's just do that. It's nothing too complex whatsoever. So now that we have that done, let's go over here to the 16 blocks going down. And you'll place two gray wools going down underneath it. And now let's go back up to this black wool. And we'll count two black wool up. So this is one, two. Starting next to it on the left side, the second one. We'll place two blocks going diagonal up to the left. So that's one, two. Delete that. And now three blocks going up to the left. One, two, three. Delete that. And now two blocks going diagonal up to the right. So that's one, two. Now you're going to delete the placement block and you'll fill in this small area with gray wool. Okay, so it should look exactly like this. Now I want you to switch to the black wool. And with the black wool, you're going to fill in this large area here. All right, with black wool. And you're going to fly back over here. And you're going to fill in this large area with black wool. And when you're done filling it in, it should look exactly like this. Now let's fly up above his left ear until you find this area. I want you to find uh, the two blocks going up and the two blocks going diagonal from there. What I want you to do is switch to a placement block and put a placement block right next to that block there. Let me fly back a bit so you can see where I am. Okay, now with the gray wool, you'll place a block next to it on the right side. And then two more blocks going diagonal down to the right. So it should look exactly like this. Okay, now that you have that, let's fly up. And what I want you to do is switch to the placement block. And I want you to find these ten blocks going up. All right, starting from the bottom, we'll count two up. So this is one, two, and from here, we'll place one placement block there. Now switch to the gray wool. Starting next to it on the left side, we'll place four blocks going diagonal down to the left. So that's one, two, three, and four. Now let's go ahead and delete the placement blocks. Now that we have that, let's fly all the way to the top, to the very, very top of the pixel art. And I want you to find this area here, these two blocks going down. And from it, you'll place five gray blocks going down. So this is one, two, three, four, five. Now let's fly back up here. And let's find, let's move over to the right a bit and find these four blocks going up. Now underneath it, you'll place five blocks going down. So this is one, two, three, four, five. So it should look exactly like this. Now let's move over past this one block here and find these two blocks going up and underneath it we'll place six blocks going down one two three four five six now let's move to the right until we find these blocks going diagonal let's start from this one block here and then let's move up to the next block which is this one now from this block i want you to place three blocks going down underneath it one two three and now I want you to place eight blocks going diagonal down to the left. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right, so it should look like that. So go ahead and delete the placement blocks now. After you finish deleting the placement blocks, let's go back up to the three blocks going up. And let's move past this one block. And starting underneath this block here, we'll place two blocks going down. One, two. And then we'll place five blocks going down on the right side of it. 
That's one, two, three, four, five. Go back up here, delete that. And now from this block, I want you to place one block going diagonal down to the left. So it looks like that. Okay. And now what I want you to do next is go back to these five blocks going down, starting from the bottom. I want you to count two up. So this is one, two. Next to it, on the left side, you'll put two placement blocks going across. One, two. Now I want you to switch back to the gray wool. Now with the gray wool, I want you to place five blocks going down, starting next to this block here. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Fly back up and delete the placement blocks. Now from the center of the five blocks going down, which is this block here in the center, we'll place one block going across on the left side. So it looks exactly like this. Now from this block, I want you to place two blocks going down on the left side. So one, two. Now two blocks going diagonal down to the left. One, two. Delete those. Now let's go back up to these five blocks going down. Now from this block, I want you to place four blocks going diagonal down to the left. One, two, three, four. I go ahead and delete the placement blocks. Now that we have that, Let's switch back to the placement block, and starting from this block again, we'll place a one block on the right side of it, like that. Now I want you to switch to the gray wool again, and with the gray wool, I want you to place four blocks going down, starting next to this block here. So that's one, two, three, four. Now that I have that, I want you to place one block next to this block on the right side, so it looks exactly like that. Delete the placement block. Now that we have that, starting from this block here, I want you to place two blocks going diagonal up to the right. So that's one, two, okay? Now, starting from this block, I want you to place three blocks going diagonal down to the left. So one, two, three. Now delete the placement blocks. Now that we have that, Starting from this block here, I want you to place one block going diagonal down to the right. So that's one. And now you place one block going diagonal up to the right. Now from this block, you'll place two blocks going diagonal down to the left. So that's one, two. So it should look exactly like this. Now from this block, I want you to place five blocks going across on the lower level. So on the lower level, you'll place five blocks going across. One, two, three, four, five. Go back over here and delete that. So it should look exactly like this. Now let's move up a bit to the right until you find this area here on the right side. All right, let me fly back a bit so you can see where I am. It's where it's the three blocks going across. Find that. Underneath this block here, you'll place one gray wall. Now let's move to the right. And next to this block here, all right, you'll place two blocks going across to the left. One, two. So it should look exactly like this. Now let's move to the left side until we find this, the first five blocks that we placed going down up here. Find that. From this block, I want you to place six blocks going diagonal down to the left side. One, two, three, four five, six. Now go ahead and delete the placement blocks. Now with the placement blocks gone, I want you to place one placement block underneath this block, like that. And now I want you to place one gray wool going diagonal from it down to the right. So one. So it should look exactly like this. Go ahead and delete the placement block now. Now from this block, I want you to place two blocks going across on the upper level to the right side. One, two. Now one block going diagonal up to the right. So that's one. Now let's move back to this one block. And on the lower level, we'll place four blocks going across to the left. One, two, three, four. Go back over, delete that. And now from this block, we'll place one block going diagonal down to the left. And now two blocks going diagonal down to the right. One two delete those should look exactly like this now from this block here i want you to place one placement block diagonal down to the left so it should look exactly like this 
switch to the gray wool. You'll place one gray wool next to it on the left side. And underneath it, you'll place two blocks going down. So you can fly back up, delete the placement block. Now from this block here, we'll place one block going diagonal down to the right. So it should look exactly like this so far. Now that we have his hair details done, let's move down to the chin. And I want you to find the 18 blocks going across. And on the left side, I want you to move one block diagonal, which is this one. Let's start from that one. And we'll place two black wools going up on the right side of it. So it should look exactly like this. Now we're going to create a pattern that goes across the 18 blocks going across to the right side. It's not complex whatsoever. Don't try to complicate it. Don't worry, it's very, very simple. All we're going to do is keep the placement block on this level, this level here, all right? We're just going to keep putting placement blocks to uh, the right side, going only on this level. Now, this is the pattern. We have two blocks going up. We'll put one placement block, switch to the black wool, and on the right side, you'll put two black wools going down. Now, still remaining on the same level, we'll put a placement block there. Now, we'll put two black wools going up. One two, continuing the pattern, a placement block, and then two black wools going down, placement block, two black wools going up, placement block, two black wools going down. Don't go to the end without me, just, uh, just in case you might mess up. Placement block, two black wools going up, placement block, two black wools going down, Placement block, two blocks going up, and it should be looking exactly like this by the time you get to this part here, the end. Alright, now that we've gotten here, you can go ahead and delete the placement blocks now. So, I'll give you a second. Now let's go back over here to the right side. Now what I want you to do is, starting from the 18 blocks going across right here, we'll count diagonally, and I want you to count up to two. So this is the first diagonal block. And now this is the second one. Now from this block, I want you to place two blocks going up to the left side. One, two. Go ahead and delete that. And now we'll move from going back to this block here, the second block that goes diagonal. We'll count three up. So this is this will be one. This is one, two, three. Now from this block, I want you to place two blocks going up to the left side. One, two. Go ahead and delete that. It should look exactly like this so far. Now we'll do the exact same thing. We'll count three up. So this being one. This is one, two, three. And then we'll place one block going diagonal. Just one block. So it looks exactly like this. Okay? Now we're going to move to the left side and do something similar. Starting from this block here, because of the first block going diagonal, I want you to count three blocks going diagonal up. So this is one two, three. Now from this block, you'll place two blocks going up on the right side of it. One, two. Delete that. Now still remaining on this block here, we'll count three blocks going diagonal up. So this is one, two, three. And now from this block, I want you to place two blocks going up on the right side. One, two. Go ahead and delete that. And it should look exactly like this. All right, we're done with that part. Now, we let's see, we'll work on the lower part. That's going to be somewhat confusing. Let's go back to the last two blocks that we just placed, these two blocks. And you see that it's connected to this one block. From this block, I want you to place one block going diagonal down to the left. So it should look like that. Now, we'll do the same thing over here. You see this one block that's connected to that? We'll place one block going diagonal down to the left. So it looks like that. Same thing over here, seeing how this is connected to that. We'll place one block going diagonal from that. So it should look like that. Okay, now we're also going to continue on another pattern once again. Starting from this block, underneath this block, on the left side of the 18 blocks going across, what we'll do is place one black wall there, and then we'll leave three spaces. We'll, we'll count to four, and then on the fourth block, we'll place another one uh black wool going down. So this is one, two, three, four, black wool. One, two, three, four, black wool. This is one, two, three, four, black wool. One, two, three, four, black wool. 
So there should be a one block that doesn't get anything over here towards the end. So it should look exactly like this. All right. Now, don't get this part confused. Don't get this one part confused as a, a diagonal block, because this block is still part of the 18 blocks going across. Okay, this is the first block that goes diagonal. Now, from this block, I want you to place one block going diagonal down to the right. So it should look like that. Next, you're going to count three blocks going up. So this being the first one. This is one, two, three. And then from this block, one diagonal down to the right. All right. And now we'll do the same thing again. Count three up. So this is the first one. This is one, two, three, and one block diagonal from that block. So it should look exactly like this. Next, we'll switch to the birchwood plank. Now with the birchwood plank, I want you to move over here. After the seven blocks going diagonal, find these two blocks going up. Now, starting next to this block on the left side, like that, starting next to that, we'll place two blocks going diagonal down to the left. So that's one, two, okay? Now one block going across next to it on the right side of this block, so like that. Now moving down to the two blocks going down, next to this block, we'll place one block on the left side of it. Now let's move down again. Now uh, starting on the top part of these two blocks going across on the left side, we'll place one block there. Now what we're gonna do Staying on this level, move, moving down to the two blocks going down here on the top block, we'll stay on this level and we'll place three blocks going across so it looks exactly like this. And you're going to continue this pattern, three blocks going across, three blocks going across, three blocks going across, and until you get to that part right there. So I'll fly back. It's nothing complicated whatsoever. It's very simple, not hard to follow at all. So once you get to these two blocks, what I want you to do is place two blocks going across on the upper level. So it should look like this. One, two. All right. Should be on top of that block there. Now we're going to move up to the two blocks going up, and we'll place one block going diagonal from this block. So it should look like that. Now let's move to this block here on the left side of it. We'll place one block diagonal. And now two blocks going across on the upper level. One, two. And now one block diagonal. So that's one. So everything should look exactly like this. Now what I want you to do is fill in all the spaces that are in between the black wool and the birch wood. You're not going to pass the birch wood and fill anything up here. And you're not going to pass the black wool and fill anything down here. So you're just going to fill in all these little small spaces with birch wood planks. And when you're done filling it in, it should look exactly like this. Now let's move up to his mouth section. First, I want to start on these six blocks going across. So find these six blocks going across. Now, it doesn't matter which side you start on, but you'll count two in. So this is one, two. Starting underneath this block, you'll place two blocks going down. And then you'll place two blocks going across on the lower level to the right side. One, two. And then two blocks going up on the right side. So it looks exactly like this. So th that's why it didn't matter which side you started on, because it's going to look even regardless. And then fill in this area. Okay, so it looks exactly like that. Now what we're going to do here is place the same amount of blocks there are going across. So this is six blocks going across, so you'll put six birch wood planks. This is nine, so you'll put nine blocks. And this is four, so you'll put four. And now up here... On top of this block, you'll place two blocks going across to the right. So it's going to look like this. That's one, two. I'll fly back a bit so you can see what it is. Okay. And we're going to do the exact same thing. It's not hard at all to follow. This is nine blocks going across, so we'll put nine blocks. Now this is four blocks, so four blocks. Now move up. Now on top of this block, we'll place two blocks going across. So that's one, two. Nothing hard whatsoever. Okay, so now let's move to this centerpiece right here, and what we'll do is place three blocks going up next to these black walls. So one, two, three, which look exactly like that. And now this is let's move up, and this is four blocks going across, so we'll put four blocks. And now starting next to this black wall, we'll place four blocks going across. One, two, three, four. 
the exact same thing over here. Four blocks going across. One, two, three, four. So it looks exactly like this. Okay. Now we'll place two blocks going across. One, two. And then one block diagonal. And we're going to do the exact same thing over here. Two blocks going across. One block diagonal. Okay. Now let's move up to the two blocks going diagonal. And from it, we'll place two blocks going up on the right side. One, two. Exact same thing over here, except it's going to be on the left side. Two blocks going up on the left side. Delete that. So it should look like this. Now, from the three blocks going up on the left side, find the center block, which is right here, right there. We'll place four blocks going across. So that's one, two, three, and four. Should look exactly like this. Now we'll place eight blocks going across on the lower level. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Now that we have eight blocks, we'll place four blocks going across on the upper level to the right side. One, two, three, four. Now go ahead and delete the placement blocks. And now you'll fill in this one space here. You'll fill in this one space with birchwood planks. And once you filled it in, it should look exactly like this. Now that we have all that done, let's move to the left side, to his left eye. Now I want you to find these two black wools going across with the one black wool on top of it. So find this, and you'll place one placement block going diagonal, down to the left. So it should look exactly like this. Now let's switch to the birchwood plank, and next to this block we'll place one birchwood plank there. And then we'll place two blocks going across to the right side on the lower level, so it looks exactly like this. Go ahead and delete that. And now we'll place two blocks going across on the lower level. One, two. So it should look exactly like this. Now we'll place ten blocks going across on the lower level. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So now we're going to move to the right eye, and we're going to do the exact same thing, except it's opposite. This time, instead of being right, it's going to be left. So... Now from this block, we're going to be placing the same thing. We'll place one block diagonal, and then we'll place one birch wood plank there. And now we'll place two sets of twos going across to the left side. So that's one, two, one, one, two, two. So it looks like that. Okay, so that's one, two, two. Same thing over there. That was one, two, two. And now we'll place ten blocks going across to the left side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so let's delete that. Okay, it's very, very, very simple. Now let's switch to the oak wood. Now with the oak wood, I want you to move to the right side of his eye over here until you find these three blocks going down. And you'll place two sets of two going down to the right side. Two sets of twos going down with oak wood. So that's one, two, one. One, two, two. Delete those. And now you'll place one block going diagonal. That's one. And now 17 blocks going across on the lower level to the right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 17 blocks going across. And now let's fly back over there and delete the placement block. Now fly back over. And now we'll place two blocks going diagonal up to the right. So that's one, two. Delete the placement blocks. And now two blocks going up to the right. One, two. Go ahead and delete that. So it should look exactly like this. So now let's move to the right side. And we're going to do the exact same thing we did over there. Locate the three blocks going down. And from here we'll place two sets of twos going down to the left side. One, two, one. One, two, two. Now delete those. Now we'll place one block going diagonal down to the left. That's one. And now 17 blocks going across to the left. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. And now we'll place two blocks going diagonal up to the left. One, two. Delete those. And now two blocks going up to the left. 
one, two. Now delete those. And it should look exactly like this. Okay. Now let's switch to the light gray wool and the stone. So now that we have the light gray wool and the stone, let's work with the light gray wool first. Starting on the right side, find the two blocks going diagonal made out of oak wood planks. Now starting on top of this block, we'll place two blocks going up. That's one, two. Now let's move over to the left and we'll do the same thing. Two blocks going up. One, two, and then one block going diagonal. And it should look exactly like that. Let's switch to the stone. Starting next to this, we'll place two blocks going up with a stone, with the stone block. All right. And then we'll place three blocks going diagonal. One, two, three. So it should look exactly like this. Now let's move to the left side. And guess what? We're going to do the exact same thing again in reverse. Two blocks going up from this block. And then two blocks going up again with light gray wool. This is light gray wool. And then one block diagonal. Now switch back to the stone. Two blocks going up next to it. And now three blocks going diagonal. One, two, three. Very, very, very simple. So now that we have that done, let's switch to the birchwood plank and let's fly over here to the left side. And what I want you to do is find these three blocks going down with the two blocks going across from it. Now underneath this block, place one birchwood plank there. And then on the upper level, two blocks going across and then one block diagonal. So it looks exactly like this. Now switch to the oak wood plank and fill in this one small space with oak wood, so it looks exactly like this. Now you're gonna fly down, and you'll fill in this space here. You'll fill it in with oak wood as well. So go ahead and fill that in. Now that you have this spot here filled in with oak wood planks, switch to the birchwood planks, fly down here, and place two blocks going across with birchwood planks. Now one block going diagonal, and now two blocks going up. So that's one, two, and then you'll place three blocks going up. One, two, three. Now I'll fly back and it should look exactly like this. Very simple. Now let's move to the right side. And on the right side, we'll also fill in this space here with oak wood planks. So go ahead and fill this with oak wood planks. Okay, and now that we have that done, let's move up a bit. And this one space here, we'll fill that in with oak wood plank as well. Now let's switch to the birch wood plank. Now starting from the bottom of these two blocks going across, we'll place two blocks going across, one block diagonal, and then two blocks going up, one, two, and then two blocks going up again, one, two. And now let's fly up. And now from this block, we'll place one block underneath it with birch wood planks. And then moving up to the next level, same thing, one block. Now underneath this black wall, we'll place two birchwood planks going down. One, two. So it should look exactly like this. So now that we have the ears done, let's go ahead and work on his forehead. Now I want you to go to the top left corner of his hair outline. I don't mean the pixel art outline. I mean his hair outline, which is here, the inside. And I want you to locate the three blocks going up, the ones that come before the two blocks going up. So locate the three blocks going up. And what you'll do is place three birchwood planks going up next to it. So one, two, three. And now starting next to this block here, I want you to place two birchwood planks going diagonal up to the left. So that's one and two. So it should look exactly like this. Now you'll place 10 blocks going across to the right side. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now fly back and delete the placement block. Now on the lower level, I want you to place 5 blocks going across to the right side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Fly back over, delete that. And now you see this space here? This is a single space. Go ahead and fill in this space with birchwood planks. All right. So once you fill that in, go back over here to the five blocks going across. Now underneath this birchwood plank, you'll place two blocks going down, one, two, and then one block going diagonal. 
Now, underneath this block here, we'll place three blocks going down. One, two, three. Now let's move down. Underneath this black wall, we'll place two blocks going down. One, two. Now, let's move over. Underneath these two blocks going down, we'll place four blocks going down. One, two, three, four. Now, let's move over. And underneath these four blocks going down, we'll place four blocks going down. One, two, three, four. Now, let's move over to the left. Underneath these four blocks going down, we'll place two blocks going down. One, two. So it should look exactly like this. All right, so now let's move to this black wool here and place two blocks going diagonal next to it on the right side. So that's one, two. Now let's move to the other side of this black wool and underneath this black wool, we'll place seven blocks going down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now let's fly back up. Now underneath this black wool, we'll place four blocks going down. One, two, three, four. So it should look exactly like this. So now let's move up. And underneath this black wool, we'll place two blocks going across to the right side. So that's one, two. And we'll fill in this one space with birchwood planks. Now let's move to the next black wool. And underneath this black wool, we'll place two blocks going down. One, two. Now let's move to the next block up, and underneath this block, we'll place five blocks going down. One, two, three, four, five. So it should look exactly like this so far. Now let's move up to the next block, and underneath this block, we'll place two blocks going down. One, two. Let's move one block over, and underneath this block, we'll place two blocks going down. One, two. Now let's move up. And so we find the three blocks right here, which is right next to it. On top of this block, we'll place 10 blocks going across. So on top of this block, we'll place 10 blocks going across to the right. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now that we have 10, we'll place two blocks going diagonal down to the right. 1, 2, delete those. And now that we have that, we'll place two blocks going down to the right. So 1, 2. And now one block diagonal. Okay. And now we'll fill in this space with birchwood planks and also this space with birchwood planks. So now that we have this forehead done, let's switch to the oakwood planks. Now with the oakwood planks, I want you to fly all the way down here underneath the chin outline and come to this area here. You see this, this path right here? I want you to follow it until you get to this one block here. Now, from this one block next to it, on top of this black wool, I want you to place three blocks going up with oak wood planks. One, two, three. Now, let's move to the next block over, and underneath this block, we'll place two blocks going down. One, two. So now, let's move to the right side until we get to this area. Now, I want you to start from the bottom block next to it. So, starting next to this block, we'll count two over. So, this is one, two. And from here, we'll place two blocks going up. So one, two. So it should look exactly like that. So now that we have this here, we'll place four sets of twos going up to the right side. So four sets of twos. That's one, two, one. One, two, two. One, two, three. One, two, four. So let's go ahead and delete this. So in total, it should add up to be five sets of twos. So this is one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Now we'll place one block going diagonal up to the right. That's one. And now three blocks going up to the right. One, two, three. Go ahead and delete that. And now we'll place four blocks going up to the right. One, two, three, four. Go ahead and delete that. And then we'll place two blocks going up. So that's one, two. So it should look exactly like this. Now, still remaining with the oakwood plank, what I want you to do is fill in this space here, this one single large space with oakwood planks. Now, staying within the black wool outline and the birchwood outline. Don't pass this. Don't go to that side. And don't go to that side. So staying within this large area, fill it in with oakwood planks. And it should look exactly like this when you're done filling it in. Now, let's switch to the black wool. Now, with the black wool, what we're going to do is fill in his hair. Now, 
This is a large single space, even the spaces in between the gray wool up there. You're going to fill in this entire space, and it does go over here. It does go into this part of his glasses. Be sure not to fill in any part of his ears, which is here, and his face. Make sure not to go into his face. Make sure to just stay within the outline of his hair. So go ahead and fill that in now with black wool. Now, before I give you the last few instructions, I just want to say thank you to everybody that's been giving me credit after they've completed one of my pixel arts. And, of course, there's going to be that small handful of kids that take a picture after completing my pixel art and then don't give me any credit whatsoever. In fact, they're going to go ahead and pretend like they were the sole creators just to look cool in front of their friends. But just a little advice to anyone that's going to do that. Make sure you don't show it to the YouTuber Markiplier, because he's already seen it. In fact, he liked it so much that he gave me credit and reblogged it on his Tumblr. So his fans that follow him on Tumblr also saw it as well. And if you like the guy so much, which I'm going to assume that you do, I mean, why else would you be doing a pixel art of him? Uh, why don't you follow his example and give me credit as well? Because he's a cool guy, and you know what? You should be a cool person too. So, that being said, let's go ahead and fill in Markiplier with the last block, and that is sand. So, any empty spaces you see on the pixel art, you're going to go ahead and fill that in with sand. And there you have it, a tutorial on how to make my pixel art of the YouTuber Markiplier. And thanks for watching. Be sure to stay tuned in for more Minecraft videos.